Obviously, a lot of people are reaching out to me saying, what's taking you so long? We need to know if you're a part of season 13, what's going on, da 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 da, da. So um, I'm still in a holding pattern. Let me start there. Um, and I also want to be able to say that it's not me, it's their right to, to be able to uh, have a livelihood and to be able to work without opportunities being taken away from them. So if this is not the place for me to work, I'm fine with that. I can carry on and go somewhere else. Just don't stop my opportunities in other places. So um, that's what I would really like to do. So as soon as I hear more, I will. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy and I'm here to talk to you everything Housewife Bravo and a little bit more related. And oh my God, Nini just went live. And basically she talked a lot of things and she throws so much shade that I think it got dark here in California. Like it was insane and also kind of like a little bit sad all the things that she had to say so let's just uh, get into it so first of all she goes on and talking about the real housewife of atlanta that a lot of people has been has been asking her if she's gonna be back next season you know remember that all the videos that i have been doing uh i'm always saying that it is 99% sure that she's not gonna be back, but there is that 1% right there that we don't know exactly what is gonna happen. Well, she basically is confirming that she is on hold, which means that they're still on negotiations. Now, you know, we know that Nini has a lot of followers and you know, taking her out of the show will have huge, uh, you know, it will be a huge backlash if she left. So she also goes on and said that it is not me, it is them. Them as we're gonna refer for the rest of the video and as she refers of them to as the other side. So um, basically she said like, I'm fine, I'm ready to go, I wanna work, I wanna be on the show, but it's them, the other side, who is, you know, basically they're not answering the emails, they're not going through with the negotiations, so the, it is just like they're on the air. But she also goes on and say that this is not the first time that this is happening, that for the past three seasons, there is people on the other side that always wants to like slow things down when it is like Nini related and then they're always trying to blame her for everything like Nini is the one slowing down Nini is the one saying this doing that but at the end of the day it is not her it is the other side and she wanted to make that very clear that she is just waiting for them and she cannot make make them uh, answer those those emails right uh, apparently you know you know, there is, has been a lot of tensions between Bravo and Nini, and apparently there is someone on some people who are looking to get rid of Nini and for the past probably like three seasons. So there is always like something going on. Uh, they're always looking for reasons of why they shouldn't bring Nini back. And she, in this case, for this new season, she wants to address some of them. The first one is that they were saying that, you know, the whole thing that happened that allegedly Nini hit a producer and that she put the, uh, her hands on him. And then she goes on and says, like, I never hit a producers. I never put my hands on them. And to be honest, guys, if you saw the episode, it's not like she went to the guy and like punch him on like or, or like do anything to him. She literally just took him took his shirt so they couldn't go inside and pull and the shirt like rip open but she never like you know touch or like punch um the person and it wasn't a producer it was a cameraman and she said like you can go you can talk to him and she will tell you that i never uh, put my hands on him 
so she wanted to make that very clear and then she uh, because they were saying that uh oh that maybe the the camera guy or the the producer uh could like uh press charges against her and you know be persecuted and then she goes like I'm guessing I'm I'm wondering if they have the same conversation with Teresa when she pushed Andy on uh the New Jersey reunion. Mm, I th I think she has a point over there. Then um also they were saying like oh you close your computer on the reunion like too early. And then she goes on and she said like I also already explained this. Basically she closed the computer is like they're walking out from the from the reunion. And she says that, um, yeah, maybe she shouldn't have done it, but there was like a whole deal with the other girls at that point and that she didn't want it to keep like discussing that. And then she also goes on and says like, mm, I'm wonder on season five when Kim in the middle of the season, when she was asking why she wouldn't travel, why she wouldn't hang out with us. And she decided to, step out of the scene and the restaurant and never come back to the season she then gets asked to come to the reunion and then she gets her own show so like what is happening right there right then she goes on and said that bravo at some point i don't know if bravo or like the network whoever over there at some point offer her a development uh, deal for one hundred thousand dollars to uh, have her own show, which you know you say like, oh my god, that's amazing! You can have your own show. A hundred, a hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money, so maybe it could work. But then she goes on and she said that when she was offered to do a show with Kim, just the two of them, they they uh, they offer her one million dollars. So again what is going on here okay so if i do a show with kim aka a white woman you're gonna offer me a million dollars but if you're gonna do a show with me aka a black woman i'm gonna be offered just one hundred thousand dollars see where i'm going on with this so yeah i don't know what you guys think about that then um she said that she has been offered a lot of opportunities and there has been a lot of offer through the years from people from the other side and from someone from the other side <coughs> and the <coughs> um that basically uh at some point those offers just disappear they were like talk talks talks and then Nobody know where the offer's gone. So are those fake offers? I, they were just trying to, I don't know, like keep her there or what was what is going on? She goes on and she says that they have people to like build them up and make them believe like they are amazing and so important. And she has like these tweets and text messages saying that you are so important for the Real Housewife. You are the real the reason why Real Housewife exists. Everything you have done for Real House for the franchises uh, during these years. So they build you up. They build you up, and then when they don't need you anymore, it's like they just disappear. But the thing is that she said that she got the receipts. Yep. And she have all has all the emails and text messages all the way from 2008 till literally today, um, when where they talk about all these missing all these opportunities and how they just disappear out of nowhere, and that she basically has no problem with like sharing them, showing them like they ha she had she had uh, she had them right there. Um, what else? What else? Um, then she goes on and then she says something like, I, as I already so, told you guys, I don't think it's much about the money. Like, she, it's not like she needs the money. Uh, it's more about like being, you know, part of the show and like the fame, uh, that comes with it. And she says like, you know what? I don't, I don't need to be working here. I don't need to be here with this show uh if you don't guys want me here anymore i can just move on and find an, a new 
new things. The only thing that I'm asked is to please do not close other doors for me, which basically says she's telling Bravo or whoever goes in there that please at least let, let her work or let her live to do another things, maybe with another network, another shows, you know, because it's like they're saying, like, if you are not here, you are not going to be anywhere, which I already talked about this in, in another of my videos. So basically they're behaving like the, you know, abusive husband who says, like, if you if you're not mine, then you are no one's. So she goes on and say like, please just like, let me go. If you are gonna let me go, let me go and let me be and let me work and let me, I have the right to make my own livelihood. So it is sad to see that there are people probably inside Bravo that are using all these women. And I'm guessing it's not only about Nini, but like all of them to their own benefits and then when they don't need them anymore it's like bye what about the fans what about us like i don't know if they realize that nowadays is not like before like they don't have all the control like nowadays all us the fans we have the control too we have a voice now and we can cancel actors we can cancel youtubers we can cancel networks uh shows like it's different it things are changing and they need to get with the program right and also about you know nini playing the uh, race card if everything that she's saying and allegedly <laughs> um it is true then it will be very sad to see that there are people still using race as a way to dim diminish diminish a person's work um, like it wouldn't make sense at all especially in a show like Atlanta which is basically all around african-american powerful women so I don't know guys let me know what you guys think about this um, do you think that Nini should wait do you think that Nini should just move on? I'm pretty sure with everything that she said on this video, she is gonna be suing Bravo for the racist um, problems inside. And then a whole bunch of heads are gonna roll. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about all this new information. I will keep them updated with everything that is gonna happen and please like this video share and please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to get to 1k and i'll see you around see ya